Hey guys, that Mikey Mo back here for another video. In this video, number one, we'll be talking about how to prepare for the um, salary cap game mode that's going to be added to draft champion type of stuff and gameplay like that. That's what we're going to be talking about is how to prepare for it, what cards you might want to invest in, and you know, maybe bulk up on if you want to, you know, chance of making coins. But remember, anything I say, take it with a grain of salt. If it makes sense to you, do it. If it doesn't, don't. Because I'm just predicting, guys. So let's get right into it. Actually, let's open up a pro pack right before we start and see if we can pull real fast. There is a Richard Sherman in the game, so why not see if we can pull him. And we get a D-tackle, Jonathan Babinos. So let's get right into it. So what cards do you want to invest in or what cards could you invest in you know to maybe make some coins well guys every single card is going to have a salary cap so that means you know when people buy cards they're going to want to buy cards with the salary cap in mind so you can only have a certain amount of salary cap in your binder the cards you have you can take those cards and based on the salary cap put a team together well of course higher overalls like this john randall is going to have a higher salary cap so what people are going to want to find are the budget beasts. Now the budget players who are really beastly are going to be the cards that are going to go a lot up in price because, you know, when those salary cap comes out, a lot of people are going to be buying these cards so that they can, you know, balance out their team with some great cards and some lower overalls who are still budget beast. So what cards could that be, guys? Well, if we're looking at the half pack position, we have a couple. We have, um, starting off with number one, we're going to look at Jarek McKinnon. He is secretly, everyone knows, is the Beast of Madden. I think I spelled his name wrong. Let me just check it. M-I? Here we go. So he's going for 1300 I don't think his price will go up too much, but it should go up uh, probably about, um... Uh, I want to say maybe two, three thousand coins just for the fact that, you know, he's a low overall. He's probably not going to have that big of a salary cap, but his card looks amazing. He has some um, nice strength at 75, which is oh, all right for a halfback. Um, what's his pass block and run block? Let's see that. So, hmm. Did I miss it? I think I missed it. Go back up. Um, probably keep missing it. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I do keep missing it. 52 and 42. Not the best, but still not like for his overall. He's going to be a probably a lower salary cap option. And he definitely, I think his price will spike a little bit for that aspect. Next guy we have here is campus hero D. Anthony Thomas. Um, I believe he's an 80 to 84. He might be an 86 overall. Oh, here we go. So he's currently going for 8K. I don't know how much more he'll go up, but definitely with those stats right there, he's going to be a budget beast and definitely a card that, you know, he's playing a lower salary cap for his overall, but he's going to be an amazing card. So other than that, guys, when it looks at halfback, can't really think of any halfbacks off the top of my head. Maybe Drew Archer, but, you know, it's not going to be, you know, the craziest. Quarterback-wise, um, uh, I don't really know any quarterbacks that would be budget beasts. Maybe this Tyrod Taylor. He has some nice speed, some nice throw power. Pretty much, if you want to invest in these and how to prepare would be go for the lower, you know, overalls that have a budget beats you know they just look amazing they're really cheap right now but the second the salary cap function comes in the game those prices are going to go up because people are going to want to buy these cards so that they can balance out their team obviously for the fact that you know you can't have unlimited salary cap so that's something you can prepare for it just look at some of these you know beastly cards that are kind of low overalls but they're still amazing and cause the people you know later on when that does happen they're going to want to you know get these cards for the fact that they can balance out the team jv on clowny um believe he's a pretty much a budget beast let's see what his overall i mean his stats look like 
He's 2,000 coins right now, 88 speed, um, 83 block shed, 91 pursuit, 94 hit power, only 80 strength, but still a fast linebacker, which is you know not really easy to come by. Uh, other cards that could be budget beasts in a way, like, well, not. It's, like, difficult to say for, like, exact what cards would be budget beasts, but these rising stars, guys, you might not want to sleep on them. For example, this is going for 9K. He has 91 speed, 66 zone coverage. If you're just looking for a user middle linebacker and you're doing salary cap, guys, He's going to be your ideal guy. Now, of course, you could go up higher, but I'm guessing that this Shay's year is going to be a lot more when it comes to, you know, his salary cap. But you can literally, it's just so easy, guys. Just look at these players and, you know, kind of in a way predict which players are going to go up. The rising stars, in my opinion, are, you know, some that are really going to hit and some are really not going to hit. For example, Shazier, probably, but the cornerbacks, I don't really think so. Like, for example, I don't really think he's going to do anything. He might Roby just because of his speed, 93 speed. Definitely, you know, a nice card right there. He might go up in price. It's just, there's so many cards, and just look at Budget Beast, okay? That's my only thing you got to look at is, and think about in your mind which cards are going to have a big salary cap and a low salary cap. And if cards have are really good, like they look really good, they're underrated, and they have a low, you think they're going to have a low salary cap? Maybe buy a couple and see if they go up in price. I'm not saying invest all your coins. Don't do that. This is just, you know, just thinking, you know, a brain thought. So just, you know, think of this smartly. Don't go in guns blazing. But definitely, you know, take the consideration because this is might be a really good way to make coins and it could be an easy way to, you know, prepare for this next program that's gonna be added into Madden. So thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If you like this video and it did help you, hit that like button and share it with your friends, guys. See you one guys out.